All right, what's going on, guys? So this is a really cool video that I've been wanting to make for a while. And the reason why is because I didn't just order one CRT off eBay, but I ordered two. So obviously, I made a video on this JVC here earlier showing off the <clears throat> TMA13SU uh, that came in through eBay. And now I got another one here. So I bought them, like I said, about the same time. This one came a lot later just because I had a little bit of an issue with uh, the seller mixing up uh, the order. But it's arrived. It's here. Um, funny enough, so the CRT that I got, um, when I first bought it off eBay, it actually had a different name on the listing. So this is a Panasonic video monitor for those who, I guess, didn't read the title of the video yet. Um, but this... Panasonic here was listed as a BTS901Y, which is a 9-inch uh, video monitor. The one in here, however, as you might be able to tell from the size, might not be 9-inch. In fact, it's probably a 13-inch because the pictures on the eBay listing were different. Uh, and I contacted the seller. I asked him, hey, like, is, is the CRT what's on the title post or is it on the pictures? And he said it's on the pictures, so... I went ahead and ordered it. I haven't really, I've opened up the box, but I haven't actually looked inside fully yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a deep dive, see how it looks inside. And yeah, you guys are going to get a first glimpse at how this looks like inside the box. Did eBay break, or not eBay, but did UPS break my shipment or not? <laughs> Let's get right into it. All right, so I got the camera set up on the tripod, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right now. Like I said, I haven't actually de uh, delved into this box past literally opening it up here. And the only reason why is just because I didn't want to make, you know, if there's any, like, other papers or something with my personal information on it. I just wanted to get that off. So, let's check it out and see how it is. So, cool, this might be pretty tough. Um, I don't think there... Yeah, this whole thing is expansion foam, and I think it's wrapped around the entire CRT, so just give me one moment. I'm going to have to fast-forward it a little bit, and we'll see how it looks. All right, there we go. That uh, took a little bit more than I thought, so yeah, it was actually in two pieces, but the problem was, was it was squished against the sides of the walls. Um, this cardboard box in particular was actually pretty flimsy. Um, it's a one-ply, or I guess one layered cardboard box so the fact that there was a lot of expanding foam was pretty good because with these crts um having a pretty weak box you know obviously you get things smacking around especially in ups uh especially fedex too <laughs> um you want to make sure that the crt is protected so with this one layer box not so good but with the foam it's better and also with the fact that this is a bit smaller uh, that helps it a little bit Shipping anything bigger, like a 20-inch, you definitely don't want just a single-layer cardboard box because it could easily puncture the CRT. Also, this was, like, upside down? No, it wasn't. Weird. Anyways, let's dig right into it. So, just as I suspected, this is a 13-inch Panasonic, and it is the one from the pictures, which is good. Because that's what I was hoping for. <clears throat> Ooh. Awesome. So this is a Panasonic BT-S1360Y, which is exactly what I was looking for. Uh, let's go ahead and move all the box stuff out of the way, and we'll give it a check and see how everything looks. All right, so I got the Panasonic CRT sitting here. I don't have anything plugged in yet because we're just going to go over the front together. So as you can see, this is a BTS1360Y, uh, which is a 13-inch video monitor. I believe it is a SWAT mask, and I'm just making sure that these buttons all work. These knobs all feel good. And yeah. So it looks like everything here looks pretty good. I will go around to the back. Also, this screen here is in good condition. The bezel is not broken. So there's, you know, small little scratches here and there, but that comes with an old monitor like this. So let me turn on the light here. 
<clears throat> as you can see, this does come with composite and S-Video. And while I wish I had Panasonic's slightly better brother, um, I believe it was like the 1380 or something like that, which has RGB right here. This obviously doesn't have it. S-Video on these are usually really good. So everything's pretty cool here. It's from May 1995. You have some unique adjustments right here. So as your focus adjustment, I like that it's all out in the open, but everything looks pretty good so far. Actually, let me check here. <clears throat> Sometimes these BNC connectors may or may not uh, get broken, the solder joints and whatnot. I've had that happen with this Elmo CRT here. So I got to double check, make sure that's actually connected properly, and then we can go from there. But yeah, so this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and hook it up and turn it on for the first time. All right, so I got the monitor hooked up. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Awesome. So just off first rip, looks like it's going pretty well. Let me double check, make sure everything is working and plugged in properly. All right, let's see. Does that give us video? Or does it not? All right, so let me double check to make sure that everything is working properly because right now I have this set to S video on my Super Nintendo. So it should be displaying a picture. And what did I do? Oh, well, I think I know what's wrong. There we go. I had my S video plugged into my GameCube. So this should fire right up. And there we go. All right, so everything looks uh, a little out of place in a sense of the brightness, contrast, everything of that sort. Let me see here. Contrast. Brightness. Oh, yeah, that's pretty hot. All right, so it looks like these all work. Uh, I gotta have to try the volume here soon, but so far it looks pretty good. This is through S Video. Uh, it's a nice little slot mask, 13 inch, like I mentioned. Uh, it does have some underscan on the top and bottom, so I'll have to adjust that. But other than that, it seems to work pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go through a couple little checks just to make sure everything is working right. See if I can't adjust this too. And then I'll get back to you here in just a little bit. Alright, so I wasn't really able to get any geometry adjustments, anything like that on there just yet. Uh, I will have to take a look at that. Um, but everything else has been calibrated in terms of all the knobs down below here. And also in the back, there's a couple switches. There's one for the color temperature. Um, and then there's another one for resistance, so <clears throat> in the signals you have a 75 ohm terminator uh, that you can either use the internal one or the an external one. Um, some of these video monitors don't come with an external one, so you have to use an, uh, or how should I say, not an external one, but they don't come with an internal one, sorry. So you have to use an external terminator cap on the other end of the output. Um, this one does, so that's all good. I just use that. And if you don't have it on, what will usually happen is the screen's extremely bright, even if you have brightness turned all the way down. So, had that turned on, everything looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, there's still obviously overscan on both sides, or sorry, underscan on both sides, and then there's a tiny, tiny bit of underscan on here, which I'll try to fix uh, once I take off the back. So, I couldn't actually reach the potentiometers through those little holes, just because I don't have a long enough and skinny enough tool, but... What we can do is still check a couple other things. So, for example, the grid, as you can see here, it looks pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, convergence. Let's see if we can show that. <clears throat> so, convergence, all in all, looks pretty solid. Um, it does get a little wonky at, over here on the right edge, but I'm not too worried about that. And everything else looks pretty good. So, I'm happy. Now, if you're wondering, too, about line B, uh, I'm not really going to try out composite right now. I think 
if S video works, composite's probably gonna work too. Uh, it's not my main focus, it's just S video is my main thing. So everything looks good here in terms of I guess the screen quality. It is a little dirty, but doesn't have any screen burn, looks pretty solid. There is one thing though that I do have to show you uh, for this monitor here real quick. So, uh, unfortunately, there is actually one small casualty, and the reason why I'm pointing down here is actually because of this. So this here is a protection for uh, all these buttons, you could say, and also you can use it to pull out. But, as you might see, this top part of the metal actually detached from the inside, the bottom is still good. Same with over here. This is perfectly fine. It's just this top one. So that's really the only um, casualty we have is just this little part. Shouldn't be very hard to fix anyways. Um, if I really wanted to, what I'd have to do is I'd have to take off the shell, take off this bezel piece here, and probably take out the tube, which isn't really a huge deal, uh, to get down to here. And then probably have to uh, glue the plastic on or something that's attached to this via the mount here. So, not a big concern. Um, you know, it's kind of whatever. I didn't really spend too much on this monitor, and all in all, this monitor still looks great. I just got to figure out uh, the geometry, and I'll probably get back to you in a bit on that. Maybe in another video. I don't think I'm going to do anything right now, just because this video was about showing you how this monitor looked and how it came out uh, from eBay. <laughs> so, this is my... I'm going to have to say probably an 8th or ninth monitor I've gotten so far off eBay, and this one I would call a pass. So all in all, looks really good. Let me turn on some 240p games and show you how it looks like. Alright. So we got some Super Mario Kart here. This is the Super Famicom version of the game, uh, just because I have a Super Nintendo that's been modded to accept Super Famicom games. So, all in all, really cool. Let me get a little shot closer in. So, as you can see, the scanline detail is pretty alright. Uh, it's not super amazing, just because slot masks, typically, they don't have the best resolution for something like that. But it is pretty dang good, especially for a video monitor. So, all in all, I'd say this is pretty good. I like it. So pretty happy about that. Uh, if you are happy to see that this video monitor turned out well, go ahead and leave a like. Tell me what you thought. And yeah, seems like everything's pretty good. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll probably make another video on this Panasonic BTS 1360Y.